In this video, I'll be exploring the Arc Gravity G8 and its casting capabilities. As you can see, I'm able to set the reel to cast over spool and it fixes itself before the end of the cast. Let me show you how amazing the Arc Gravity Control Braking System is. All right, folks, just got to the cast testing pond and we're gonna talk about the setup very, very quick. So uh, I have placed on the Major Craft MS-1. This is the MSC WJ701M, rated down to a quarter ounce. Upper end, 5 8 and this is a seven foot rod, fast tip action, okay? Medium power. And I have 12 pound mono, and this is a uh, Varivis, the Super Trout Nylon. You guys can check out the description for more info. And for the reel, I have set up the tension to be loose as possible, but no side to side chop. And I'm actually doing that right now because I actually made it looser earlier just to um, make sure that I have set properly. And if you want to learn more about how to set up this way, you guys can check out the video on top right hand corner. It's basically how Daiwa has set up all the bait casting reel with a zero adjuster tension knob. The lure I have here is a Z-Man Chatter Spike. This is a fluke style plastic and I have their ZWG hook, 1 8 ounce, full alt. And the total weight of this rig here is 3 8 ounce. So it's well in range of this rod. And uh, a lot of bass lures, you know, it's pretty much around the 3 8 ounce level, okay? So let's go. All right, so max brakes. Max everything, as you see, short distance, but it went out straight. And I did a pretty hard cast. So I'm gonna do an even harder cast. And look at that. So yeah, it's uh, definitely something that I don't think anyone will be using, even beginners. So let's uh, put this brakes at 10, 10, which is half. So half and an outer dial and three and inner. A lot better, okay. And it goes out pretty easy. All right, let's keep going. Let's lower it even more. Let's put this around, I guess that's five right there, okay? Here we go. That's some good distance. Not bad. I think beginners would love this because it did not overspool at all and it hits the water and it's still not overspooling. Here, I'm gonna show it again, but I'm gonna cast harder. It may overspool a little bit, okay, but hold up. Let's see what happens. Okay, it overspools just a little bit, but it's not going very fast. So this rear here is definitely beginner friendly for those who don't like thumbing and stuff like that. This is, this is actually pretty good, okay? But now I'm gonna lower the brakes down to, let's say two, okay? Two and Roman numeral three. This is probably where I need a feather. All right, I don't really need a feather. I'm gonna try again. I actually feathered it, but I feel like you probably don't. Hold up, one more time. Yeah, you don't need to feather it. And it goes pretty far and easy. This, this is insane. All right, what if I put zero brakes, which is not truly zero brakes, okay? When you have magnetic brakes, it's never really zero, even though it's zero, okay? The plate is still there, the, the, the cup is still there. Okay, this one right here, I think you still need to uh, feather. Try one more time, but it's pretty good. It's pretty darn good. Yeah, no need to feather, and it's still pretty far. That is pretty sexy. All right, so let's change the settings and let's continue this cast testing session. So if you haven't watched my unboxing video, I showed how to change this cup right here, the brake setting. All you do is you open up the side plate like this and you push the whole cup in and you rotate. And when you rotate clockwise, it went from three to one. So I need to do it one more time. Boom. So yeah, there's like two balls, okay? and. That's where it holds the, uh, the cup in place. But yeah, two is gonna be a lot different than three, okay? Trust me. Now, I'm gonna put the brakes back to max and we'll start the whole process again to explore the brakes. And yeah, max brakes still overpowering. Uh, thinking may have been a little bit further than with three, so it makes sense. Yeah, it's definitely further than, uh, you know, Roman numeral three at max brakes. So here's where the money's gonna be at. And I gotta make sure I adjust my camera properly. Let's put this at uh, like 14 brakes, okay? All right. It's um, going out further, no overspooling. Man, this, this braking system is pretty sexy. 
I'm still trying to look for that overspooling so that we can find a nice sweet spot where I got feather. So let's put this at uh, 50%, which is 10. No overspooling, but it went out far and easy. And you probably should thumb it because it is going faster, okay? But that is good distance. Here, I'm gonna put this at eight now. Oh man, I can feel it right now. It's finally gonna overspool. Nope, <laughs> not overspooling. And I'm always at the end of the pond right there. This is insane. This is actually really, really insane. All right, come on. Six, I'm gonna cast soft, okay? Okay, I saw a little bit overspooling in the beginning, but I don't think the lure is gonna fly any further because, you know, it, it's, it's a lure, right? It's gonna catch some air, right? We have line, we have not that thick of a line, 12 pound, uh, Japanese line is thinner than 12 pound American. Like I put this line side to side with suffix and this is just a little bit thinner, which is crazy. But yeah, no overspooling right there, but I think I could hit the, the end. I should be able to hit the end. Okay. Uh, once again, that was break six setting. Still not overspooling. This is uh, very interesting. All right, I'm gonna put this at four, okay? There we go, we got the overspooling and it, it fixes itself before the end of the cast, but it's not really going any further, okay? Um, but yeah, this, this is insane. Casting is so smooth. Um, let's put at five. No overspooling at five. But four overspooling starts, okay? So let's go to four again. And I'm gonna explore the casting powers of four. You guys need to let me know how you guys are enjoying this type of uh, cast testing session where I explore the brakes. Like, I totally enjoy doing this. Okay, there is some overspooling when I cast a little harder on five, but it's, it's nice. So yeah, I think the, depending on the weight of your lure and the line selection in your rod, potentially Roman numeral two, okay? Roman numeral two and around brake five setting is a sweet spot for just before it overspools, okay? There is overspooling right there because I winged it pretty good, okay? Um, yeah, five. And if you go below that, let's put this up. Uh, let's try three for a second. Okay, that's overspooling. So three is interesting, okay? So it's definitely a lot less, okay? And what you notice a second ago is I actually cast a little bit less power than all my previous casts. And I achieved just slightly right before the, I guess my hardest cast. But that's the, that's the style of casting a lot of um, people in Asia like to do. They like to not overpower the arm, you know, the cast, right? They like to uh, use brakes low as possible and just cast, you know? And there's some overspoon right there. But yeah, if I cast softly, that's still pretty good distance. But if I wing it, you know, I want to wing it further, I definitely put it like around four brakes. But yeah, I am enjoying this reel. This, I feel like it's gonna be better than a Tatula 100. I mean, it is priced $100 more than the Tatula, right? So yeah, that's the furthest cast so far right there with a uh, brake setting four, cast hard as I can. No need to feather the spool, it fixes itself, right? And uh, I do urge you to thumb it before I touch the water. I guess I'll just demonstrate it right now. If you don't thumb it, will it overspool, right? So let's see. So it's overspooling touch the water and does overspool. So yeah, you definitely, uh, for those folks, you gotta thumb that spool. But yeah, I'm very, very impressed with this reel. It's so sexy. Okay, I just changed the inner dial to row minimal one and have brake setting 20 on the outside dial. Oh my, that goes pretty far. Not too bad. This is gonna be uh, probably the quickest test session right here because uh, I uh, feeling it's gonna blow up very, very soon. Let's put this at uh, 18. No, wait, is that 17? No, that's 18, okay. Okay, that's, that's nice, very nice. I think uh, we could do better. Let's see, let's try 16, okay. Wow, that's, that's pretty nice. That is pretty nice. No overspooling at all. Brake setting, 16. Inner dial, 
one. So let's try um, 14. There we go. We have some overspooling now. Okay. So yeah, that, there's a huge difference. Okay. You got Roman numeral two. Uh, the overspooling starts at five, more at four. But when you have Roman numeral one, you are starting to overspool around 15 and 14, depending on your whole setup. And then at Roman numeral three, you don't overspool at all. So that is the brake exploration of this reel. Let's put on a little bit lighter lure and see if we cast a lighter lure. Since this rod is rated down to a quarter ounce, I have a lure that's close to a quarter ounce. So give me a second as I change lures. All right, folks, we're gonna do the last session of this video right now. And we're basically gonna cast test this guy here. This is the Adrenaline Crawl from X-Zone and I have rigged on a BKK hook. This is a size one odd, I believe. It says one odd right there, yep. And size 16 uh, ounce weight. Total weight here is about 8.4, so it's a little bit more than what this rod spec is rated down to. This is down to a quarter ounce, which is about 7.5 grams. And I wanna say that this reel here is a size 100 spool. And in the US, a lot of reels are um, being sold now at the size 70 level. We have the Tatula SVTW70, right? And the newest reel we have on Shimano side, which should be out very soon, which is the Shimano SLX MGL. That is a size 70 spool as well. And yeah, I think uh, the direction that a lot of these reel companies are going is bait casting reels that not very small, like bait finesse, right? But it could do like an all rounder, okay? And um, one reel I played with was the Mega Jaws Elite. Y'all can check out the recent cast testing video. That reel there cannot do this one right here, but I have a feeling that this guy could do it. So let's test it. We're gonna test it with the same exact setting that we just did last with the, the Fluke Style Lure from Z-Man. So the inner dial is at Roman numeral one and the brake setting is at 14. Yep, 14. So let's take a look at this. Yeah, overspool in. Okay, so we have a line line in this reel, right? So can't expect it to go that low if I put that much line. If I had PE instead of mono, potentially, okay? Thinner line, uh, probably put like a 75%, probably could do it. But let's play around with the brakes for a second. Maybe I could get it to work. But yeah, that overspooling was interesting. I would love to see Arc come out with a size 70 spool. That would be a game changer because I already love their reels. And like I said, this is size 100 spool, so I don't expect it to go super low, okay? But as you see, it, I, could, I could cast this. This looks like it could cast further than the, the casting one, but it, it is struggling a little bit. Okay, I'm not gonna deny that it's not struggling. Okay, brake setting 16, let's go. A little bit over spooling, and um, yeah, you have to feather that. So yeah, with a lighter lure that's bulky and it's catching you know, the wind and stuff like that, the air, it's gonna be difficult casting lures this weight. Let's put to that 17. Over spooling, fix itself. But that is actually really good distance. Like this is way better distance than that Mega Jaws I was telling you about a second ago. So I, I do like it. Let me change the brakes, the inner dial to uh, two for a second and explore a little bit more. All right, that was not bad. It was pretty accurate. No overspooling at 50%, but definitely restricted, okay? I feel like the casking one, it's over restricted if you were to set it to the point where it doesn't overspool at all. And then when you get to the sweet spot, it's like so small, it overspool like crazy and you don't even get distance. But uh, let's lower this for a little bit. Let's do eight and see how this thing goes. Okay. Aha. Tiny overspooling fixes itself good distance. Like for a light weight like that, that's, that's not too bad. Okay, for uh, such a big spool. That is not bad. Let's go to... Let's do six. This is ballsy. Oh my gosh. Yeah, you need a lot of thumbing right there. You don't feather, that thing is uh, not gonna fix itself, especially when you have wind. The lighter this stuff is and the bulky it is, it's not gonna do well. Now, if I were to cast, let's say a rattle trap, a quarter ounce, I feel like this should be able to do it. No problem, right? Condensed lures, that's the key for casting far, uh, especially for the lighter lures. But for the light lures, when you have bulky stuff like this, that's not gonna happen. So let's beef this back up to, let's say seven. Over spooling, and it almost fixed itself near the end, but it doesn't. So yeah, I think the eight is gonna be the sweet spot for this one right here, but y'all gotta fiddle with it, okay? The range is, let, let's 
put it up to like, let's say nine, okay? So nine and eight-ish. Once you go below that, you have to feather really, really good. And distance-wise, I think it's acceptable for a size 100 bass reel. So this is pretty good. I am enjoying this reel and I can't wait to take it out for some actual fishing. Let's wrap up today's cast testing session. Please note that the breaking sweet spot for you might be different from me because everything impacts the breaking settings, okay? So your rod choice, your line choice, and the amount of line that you put on, and also the lure that you pick. And uh, yeah, I have to admit, my son did overspool a little bit. <laughs> he just reeled up, just cranked up all the way. And you know, hey, he wants to be my little helper, so I can't deny that, okay? But anyway, the ARC gravity control braking system. I really, really like it, okay? So I really love it on the ARC gravity BFS reel, but man, it definitely works really, really well for their larger bait casting reels, such as this one here, the G8, the latest flagship. And yeah, this is size 100 reel. I would love to see ARC create a size 70 reel in the future. But anyway, uh, brake setting rings, okay? Roman numeral three will be over braked. Uh, but it's actually usable. Uh, I think beginners will love using this setting. And as you have seen, I cast all the way down with the lowest brake setting and it didn't really overspool with the lower choice I uh, selected, which was uh, uh, the Fluke style lower, 3 8 ounce ramp. And uh, yeah, I think uh, it's, it's great for just learning how to cast, but I feel like everyone will be using primarily Roman numeral two that still have a good amount of braking power. And that is where you'll be able to find that over spooling and also practice feathering your thumb, everything right there, you know, you could do it at Roman numeral two. Now, Roman numeral one, I feel like uh, it's lightly break, but it's not to the point where it's not usable. I think a lot of the more advanced users may use that, especially those who like to cast with lighter powers and uh, those who like to cast with low power, right? And achieve far distance, they like to fine tune their brakes. So using the lowest amount of brakes, well, allows you to fine tune it a little bit better, a little easier, but I think two is the, best because uh, the fine tuning process is a lot shorter, right? So yeah, and uh, let's go back to Roman numeral three. I, I'm going all over the place, okay, <laughs> my bad. But um, I think Roman numeral three, potentially it'll be a very, very good setting for those who want to learn how to skip because it's so much stronger. But I'll be playing around with some skipping probably a little later in the season when uh, it gets uh, very hot and uh, bass and whatever predatory fish like to stay underneath like docks or overhanging trees and stuff like that. But I am loving this reel. I can't wait to take it out to do some actual reel fishing. So stay tuned for that. Thank you for watching The Fish Don't Wait. I have left a link in the description below on where you get this, which is directly from ARC from the website. So to lose tight lines.